all right youtube so today i just wanted to show um my temple wine uh shelling peas uh they're starting to dry this is a harvest that i just did um and i also wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison to the lincoln pea variety um, as far as the pea size is concerned and the number of peas per pot uh, so in this section of my garden bed, we can see that the plants are laying down basically because they weren't trellised and they're now beginning to to uh, dry the um, pods and the, uh, and the plants. Um, so this is how the pods look before they're drying pick that one and if we look in here you can see they're starting to yellow up and whatnot these uh this whole area is basically filled with pods and if i lift these plants up they're about six feet long <clears throat> they're about six feet long but if i lift the plants up we'll see a bunch of pods like that and same right here so basically i just broke one um basically uh they're they're planted inside this grow bag and they're stretching about six feet that way. And that's the top of the plants. So they're, um, they're really traveling quite a distance. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go to that side of the garden bed. And we can see how things look in here. And I'm basically gonna let all these pies dry out completely and I'm gonna put up the plants and I'm gonna save seed uh, for myself and for others who are interested in this variety. Uh, but you can see there's, there's some nice dry pies on these plants already. And like I said, the plants are, are already uh, six, about six feet long, maybe seven feet. So I say about at least uh, four feet of these vines have dried pies on them. And we can just look in here. It's, I mean, there's pies everywhere. I honestly do need to come pick them, but I'm gonna just wait for these plants to dry out because there's so many pies. I'm gonna just wait for the whole plants to dry out and then collect them like that to make it easier. Uh, th this is this may be my most productive variety I've grown so far. You see plenty of green pies still on these plants. I mean. The harvest is prolific. I actually could have pulled more green pies than what was inside of my container. I just, I just wanted to get enough so I can uh, cook with, and so I can have a bulk amount of seeds for next season. Um, same over here. I came and picked a few green pies from from this section. Now the top of the plants uh, still have green pies, but where you see yellowing on the plants, uh, those pies are most likely dry at this point. And if I just look under here, I mean pies everywhere, hundreds and hundreds of pies. So let's just, let's go do a side by side comparison to see. size of a pea that this variety makes um so like i said this is my harvest from today i harvested it one other time also i believe i did that on video there's a pie that was already uh, i accidentally broke when i was harvesting it's very easy to shell honestly you can do it with one hand not that i recommend it though So this uh, Tepawine P has a, a small seed compared to all the other varieties that I've tried so far. So this, this was a pod that had uh, lesser seeds in it, a lesser amount of seeds. Um, I've noticed that they can have upwards of uh, about eight seeds. Like this pod may have that many in there, but they can have upwards of eight seeds in there. Now let's check out this Lincoln. Uh, this variety is much easier to shell when it's fresher. I harvested it about mm, about three days ago or so, maybe two days ago. 
uh, I did notice that Tepper wine, when I first harvested that variety, it uh, they were keeping well in the refrigerator. I didn't freeze them, I just kept them in the refrigerator and I've been shelling them as I need them. Um, but the, the, the storage life on Tepper wine is, is amazing uh, compared to the other varieties that I've, that I've grown so far. I'm just gonna move those to the side so I can get these Lincoln peas in there. And you can see Lincoln pea has a much larger seed in there. So Tepper wine is definitely a, a, a smaller, a smaller pea seed compared to um, some of the commercial varieties. So that's Lincoln right there. Then we have the small Tepper wine. Now, as far as the sweetness of these two varieties, um, I've cooked with them, but I haven't really noticed much of a difference. What I did notice is the Lincoln has a strong pea flavor. Uh, not that it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not uh, a good flavor or anything, but it's just a, a strong note of pea flavor uh, compared to the Tepper wine. Um, I don't really eat raw peas, so I, that's why I never tried it like that to know if they're how sweet they are raw but i mean i cook my uh i cook my greens but um i just wanted to come with this little update y'all so let's put two of the larger pods side by side side by side let's see just wanted to come with this update this comparison so this is a tepper wine pie to the left lincoln pea pie to the right um that's the, the seeds which is an accurate representation of uh, how large they can get. All right, so see y'all in the next one. Uh, like I said, Tepper Wine was a amazing producer for me. I, I, I may have as many pies right here as I have with the Lincoln P. And um, I've already harvested the Tepper Wine twice and I've only harvested the Lincoln P once. Um, so, and we seen that the Tepper Wine has many more pies left. See y'all in the next one. Time to go make me a meal.